The header section is done, so let's move on to the benefits section below. We are going to add the same reveal effect, but in this case we'll be using the scroll scene action to reveal the content when the section is scrolled into view. For this we are going to use scroll scene, which observes the scroll position of the element and triggers animations based on that. One thing to remember here is to add the scroll scene on the container or section element and not on the element that will be animated. In the second section, select the div block with the class name of container. Add the scroll scene action from the interactions panel. The settings here are a bit different from the interactions action that we used before. We are going to add multiple animations for the contents inside the section. I'm going to leave the scroll scene setting to default. For the first animation, set the target to the H2 heading and for animation go to fading entrances and select fade in up. Refresh the page. You should see that it reveals as we scroll. Here the animation is synced with the scrolling. But what we want instead is to trigger the animation at a certain scroll position and then let it run by itself. To do that, in the animation setting, click on advanced options. There you will see the play option. Currently, with scroll is selected. Change that to independently and save. Now check the page and the section heading will be revealed as we reach the section. Now let's repeat the same thing for the text below the heading. This time, click on the add animation at the bottom on the scroll scene action settings. This will add animation to section to the scroll scene. For the target, select the P element and on animation, go to fading entrances and select fade in up. Similarly, click on the advanced options and select independently for play. Now for the four content blocks. I'm going to apply the reveal effect by selecting all of them at once using a target class selector. With the Pine Grove custom selector, you can select any element in the page or select multiple elements that match the same selector. I've already assigned a class name, featured post, to these four blocks. Let's add new animation on the scroll scene by clicking the add animation button. This adds animation three to the scroll scene. Open the target selector and hover over the first div element with the featured post class name. This will open a submenu where you can select all elements with the class featured post. Now that all four elements have been selected as targets, any animation you select will be added to all of them. As before, for animation, go to fading entrances and select fade in up. And similarly, click on advanced options and select independently for play. Now save, refresh, and check the page and you should see the animation. Hmm, but all four blocks are appearing at the same time. Why not add a bit of delay between them? We're not going to add delay here as this would require making individual animations for each element. Instead, we're going to use the stagger option which delays the animation over a group of elements. Stagger comes into effect when multiple target events are selected like we have done for these blocks. To apply stagger, we have to customize the animation. So click on Edit Animation, and on the Timeline Editor, click on the main blue transition. There, enter 0.25 into the stagger field. This will delay animating each element by 0.25 seconds. Save the changes, refresh, and check. You should see the reveal effects run when we reach the section and that the four featured post blocks appear one by one. Additionally, we have to add hide at start to all elements that will be revealed.